Hey guys, today we got a Guild War against Chosen PH2. Uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, over the past week, uh, Epic Fail has changed all of our logos, so uh, we've updated that now in our overlay, uh, and it made it a little bit different, but pretty much kind of kept it the same. So we've got tons of green towers, because it's pretty much the start of the war, so let's go ahead and see what we can hit. So let's say, take a look at the plus three green tower. Okay, so we got Kuman, Perna, Orion. All right, and then Theo, Iris, Bernard. All right, I think we can go ahead and attack this. So, um, with these Kuman Orion defenses, what I've found the best to work for me is to go with like a Wind Panda to tank the fire threat. Um, something like Armada probably could work, but I want the defense break of Wind Panda. Uh, and then I think we can go. I think we're gonna go my pretty much my safer team down there. But let's worry about this Theo team up top. Uh, so we've got Theo, we've got buff removal. Uh, Theo's really the only major, major threat. Uh, so let's see. I mean, ideally, I'm just going to go this and just go water tank it out. Uh, but we've got Wind Panda down here. We've got two more units. All right, where's Camilla? Camilla, 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 and Kumin. So I like countering Kumin with Kumin. Uh, it's one of my better, I think, comps. Uh, reason I'm taking Camilla is in case, worst case scenario, I should be able to draw it out. Um, but up top, pretty much any water team should work. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what happens here. Alright, so, okay, we got a derp, which is perfect. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and pop Theo's in door. Okay, he's on revenge. Can we kill Isis too? Iris, not Isis. Uh, can we remove that? Wow. Okay, so RNG is obviously in our favor this war because that literally could not have gone any more perfect. Um, so that's what we were kind of expecting to have happen. Our Theo get the kill. His Bernard derp, so pretty easy win there. Okay, so this is obviously the hard one. Okay, so as you can see, they already went to town on... Um, my Wind Panda, which if he gets armor broken again, I'll be pretty mad. Okay, Kuma got armor broken this time instead. Alright, let's go ahead, put our Revenge up, and let's go ahead, we're going to defense break that Orion. Okay, perfect. Let's see, can we break through the shield on Orion? We can, we got the slow on him. Ooh, almost got the kill. Oop, sorry if you can hear that, that's my coffee machine going off. Let's see if we can't Soul Devour, get the kill on Orion. Beautiful. So I like to kind of like basically tank it out with my own Kumin um, with the wind tank. So the Kumin's putting up the um, the shield on my wind tank because he's taking most of the damage from like the uh, fire threats. Uh, and then I've got obviously the healing from Panda and the healing from... Um, well not the healing but the shield... <laughs> Did my Kumin just hit for 20k with like a max HP Perna through the Kumin shield? That's pretty impressive. I mean, wow. My Kumin doesn't even have... He has like zero crit damage too. And we should be able to just auto it out from here. So, uh, that's what I've found to be the best is um, like this type of team. Obviously, not a lot of people have Wind Panda. Um, and he's kind of key because he's got the defense break. But um, for most Kumin defenses, that's what i found the easiest for me if they've got a fire threat with them. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at what this green tower is. Okay, that's pretty weird. We might come back and do that. Oh, we've got a wooden panda. I mean a water panda, sorry. Wrong type of panda. Okay. I want something interesting here. Okay, so Kuman, Orion, Theo. Um, team at the bottom. We're just going to play it safe and we're just going to bomb it. We're just going to bomb it. And where's Sira and Tiana? Um, so we're just going to bomb the bottom one. So with this one, what I just had in is actually a good team. Um, uh, Galleon, Theo, be able to pop their Theo, um, do that. Again, it's pretty good. Um, what I also like is, uh, against a team with Theo, as obviously you counter it with another Theo if you can, um, but I think we're actually, you know what, we're just gonna go ahead and do this. Um, so, Will Rune Galleon, Will Shield Galleon, Water Healer, and Theo. Um, obviously I'm bringing Ariel for the buff removal. I could also bring Emma as well for the buff removal. Um, 
but I think this will work because we've got all will shield. Okay, so he removed it on aerial, which is not cool. Okay, perfect. Don't kill me, thank you. So let's go ahead, time to loot. Okay, pop Theo. Can we remove his Endure? Can we go ahead and kill him? So we killed Theo, so that's our main threat down. Um, so obviously we've got Kuman left, but he's not going to be as much of a threat. Boom. Got the kill. Let's just go ahead and give ourselves some attack bar increase. Um, you know what? I think Theo's going to steal the turn, so let's try to get defense break. Boom. Remove that. Oh, he didn't remove it. We get a defense break out there. And there we go. So, um, that's what I like doing is basically those willed shield uh, comps against Kumin. Because I know a lot of people have trouble with those defenses because they're so brand new. Um, but those tend to work the best for me. Of course I didn't get Chloe. That's okay. Uh, never get Chloe. Ever. It's kind of annoying, actually. It happens way too often. Uh, let's just go ahead and bomb Chloe. I should have probably bombed Jemire, but that's okay. I'm hoping Chloe's going to steal the turn from Jemire, which he did, which is why I bombed Chloe, because then she'll stun and not put out another... Oh, she's not even get another turn. She's just going to die. So, boom. So, those are the two ways I deal with um, Kumin defenses, because that's pretty much all the Kumin Orion defenses there is, is Kumin Orion Fire Threat uh, and Kumin Orion um, Theo. Now, occasionally it's Kumin Orion Retash, and I use, like, a, I use a fire comp against it, um, so I pretty much just use a really strong fire team. Uh, but those are your two main types of Kuma defenses. Uh, and that's pretty me the easiest way to take care of them is just how you would take care of like this comp here. Uh, will shield it or try to outspeed. Um, let's see. We're going to go ahead and we're going to, we're going to fight this. We're just going to go ahead and, um, copper bulldozer this because we haven't used bulldozer in a long time. And then top team, I mean, that's, this, that's going to work. We just use that, so we don't want to use that again. Um, hmm. I think we're going to use Camilla. We're going to use um, Wind Panda. Let's put him as the lead. And we're going to use just That's not Chasun. <laughs> and we're going to use Chasun. Um, I finally got my Camilla up to the point where she's got pretty much all of her... Um, she got all her damage upgrades. She needs one more Devilmon, uh, which I should get after TOA reset. So she'll be max skills pretty soon, uh, which means I'm going to be using her quite a bit more. So let's go ahead. Attack bar, or attack power increase. Okay, who are you going to attack? Right, you're going to attack just soon. Oh, Wind Panda. Beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and put this defense break on Galleon. Okay, there's time to loot. Let's go ahead and kill Galleon. And, ooh, we propped. Beautiful. Okay. And let's go ahead and defense break Chow. And we'll defense... Oh, we didn't get defense break. Because we're going to kill Chow with that skill. Boom. And we can go ahead and throw this on auto. So I like Camilla a lot more now that I have her damage upgrades on her. Because she actually does some damage. So uh, that's positive. Alright, so there's that first team down. And then second team, let's just go ahead, fill up Copper. Hit that Praha for a lot. 52,000. Oh, don't you hit Bulldozer. Well, let's see what Bulldozer's going to hit for. 19.5, 19.5. So, 39,000. Boom. Well, can you, can't get a stun. Nope, stun. Nope, Pop doesn't do her. He's trying to take down a unit with him, but he can't. So, um, there's our three wins right there. So, uh, yeah. Um... Main thing with Kumins to me is we'll shield them if they're with Orions. Uh, see, especially if it's Kumin Orion um, Theo, and just kind of treat it like it's Kumin Orion. I mean, uh, Theo Orion Chasun, um, except the you're getting a shield instead of a refill from Chasun. Because to me, I treat them pretty much the same. Obviously, Kumin does a lot of damage, but if you bring like a Theo Galleon and Water Healer, I would suggest Ariel if you have them or Emma. Um, and will shield it down seems to work pretty well for me. So uh, thanks for watching guys If you enjoyed like comment subscribe, and I'll see you guys later